guys, I'm Nikki. And I'm Brian. And we are Cooking, Cooking with, with Dakotas. Dakotas. She's a registered dietitian with professional culinary training. And he's a finance guy that is starting to get some experience in the kitchen. And today we're going to teach you and this guy how to cook in the kitchen. Today we have another great breakfast prep item for you, egg muffins. These egg muffins are packed with protein and vegetables. So if you're one of those people that have a hard time getting enough veggies in your day, this would be a good breakfast for you. So let's get our mise en place. So here's all our mise en place, everything in its place. So we have all the ingredients we need for our egg muffins. We have spinach. Spinach is a great source of different vitamins and minerals. And we are using about a couple cups here today. We just did a rough chop. Because these are small muffins, we, wa we don't want really long strings of spinach after it's cooked. So small pieces work well for this. We have a diced bell pepper. Feel free to use whatever color bell pepper you like. We have onion to bring some good flavor to these. We have mushrooms and we did a, similar to our chicken marsala video when we sliced our mushrooms. After we sliced them, we just did a rough chop over those slices. So that's what this brings us. We have some eggs here. This is gonna be our main protein source. And we do have some cheese. We're adding this uh, on top of the muffins to give it some good flavor. Thank goodness. You can never not have cheese, arguably. You'll notice that a lot of these ingredients are very similar to our other breakfast sandwich video. These are pretty interchangeable, that if you just wanted to add some bacon and sausage or even an English muffin, you would be able to do the breakfast sandwiches with this too. And also, uh, speaking of interchangeable, you can interchange the veggies too. You can add tomatoes, garlic, uh, jalapenos if you like it more spicy. You can definitely switch these up, but again, we like these because they're something we always have on hand. And it's a nice, easy way to get vegetables in. All right, let's get mixing. We are doing six whole eggs and four egg whites. With the egg white, you're gonna crack it as usual, separate the two halves, and kind of toss the yolk from side to side to get all that egg white out. There we go. Whole eggs are perfectly healthy. You're getting a lot of good uh, B vitamins and vitamin A and uh, fats in the yolk but you are getting some saturated fat as well. So we just wanna keep that saturated fat lower. So we're just using some egg whites, but feel free to use all whole eggs if you prefer, or use more egg whites than whole eggs as well. So these just got out of the oven. What we're gonna do is just run our knife around the muffin to release it. And it'll come out nice and easy there because we put enough oil uh, to prevent it from sticking. 
So these took about 22 minutes in the oven and they look amazing. They're really like little breakfast quiches more than breakfast muffins, but. The quiches do have a crust and these are crustless. So maybe they'd be little mini frittatas. And they're not quite breakfast cupcakes and we did use a cupcake tin for them, so. So when they first came out of the oven, they were a bit higher. Just like my confidence after a drink or two. And then after they cooled and sat for a bit, they did deflate. Just like when I stopped drinking. <laughs> These are great breakfast options and I recommend you eating maybe about two of these. And since there's just some protein and veggies with this and a little fat from the cheese, I do recommend you getting some sort of carbohydrate with it, whether it's a piece of fruit on the side, a slice of whole grain toast, something like that so you can balance out your meal. You can store these in a container with all of them together uh, covered or you can individually wrap these with saran wrap. That way that they do stay fresh and you can grab them individually as you need them. They last about five days in the fridge or about a few months, I'd say three months or so in the freezer. And if you're defrosting these, I recommend taking them out a night before so that they defrost slowly in the fridge and that way you can zap them in the microwave when you're ready. For quick heating up, stick them in the microwave for about a minute or so and they'll be good to go. So hopefully you'll try these uh, as a breakfast option in the near future. Thanks again for watching this week's episode of Cooking with Dakotas for Ta Ta for now. <laughs>